I'm still trying to beat Kingdom Hearts 1 using a DJ Hero controller. Pause if you want a recap of the controls. I left Agraba and went fishing for Monstro. And uh, Sora? That's what she said. Blasting through Monstro's confusing maze was easy. I totally didn't use a guide for it. And I beat Parasite Cage 1 very easily. Sora had to get high jump before we reached the final boss of Monstro, his throat. The limited camera movement made the platforming really awkward. I climbed the stairs, defeated Parasite Cage 2, made my escape and headed towards Halloween Town. While running around helping Jack with his fetch quest, I ran into my first of many, many problems here. The ghost puzzle. It took a lot of wiggling back and forth and hitting the tombstones in order to activate the correct ones. Is this a Christmas movie or a Halloween movie? Go. One heated debate later, it's a Christmas movie by the way, I managed to chase Lock, Shock and Barrel to Uki Manor. But literally 20 seconds after getting there, I managed to fall off the manor. This is going to be the only time I fall off, I swear. When I got to the top, Sora, Donald and Goofy decided to have a little chat with the poor kids. In the confusion, I forgot to pull the lever that opens the door to the Oogie fight. I left the room and proceeded to immediately fall down to the bottom. Whoops. Sora, you can slide, you know. Oh, oh, now you want to do it. Oh. Bye! Having corrected my mistake, I intentionally jumped back down to reach the Oogie fight. Timing the buttons to trap Oogie was very difficult because of the camera. When I finally managed to trap him, I couldn't even platform my way up. Dora, come on, no. Are you kidding me? This fight took forever, and I even died once because I got impatient. I didn't heal in time. Oh no. I eventually got Oogie with a dope 360 no-scope Fyra. Fire! Sick. Now who do you think is more scary to me after this challenge? Sephiroth or Oogie Mana? If you chose Oogie Mana, you are correct. The combination of tiny platforms, weird camera angles, and the constant dodging of projectiles made this incredibly frustrating. I managed to slowly climb my way up to the top, getting all the purple orbs along the way, only to realize that... It's no use! When I got thrown off, it took me 30 minutes, 30 minutes to get back up to the top. Luck was finally on my side as I got into the perfect position to reach the final orb. The whole fight ended up taking 40 minutes, but legitimately felt like an eternity. Yes! I hope I never land have to play this section again. Within a minute, I already met the worst enemy of the world. The ladders. The many tight places in this world are the worst and the camera is doing its best to fight back. Even the ladder that leads you to the Shadow Sora fight is a boss in and of itself. Oh, nice camera. No, Goofy. No. No, 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 no. Oh, 
I can't believe that the letters were more difficult than that fight. Well, let's see if I can do like the funny trick. Yep, bye hook, bye. Yep, now I can say bye hook, bye. The camera hated me so much that it decided to put itself behind a freaking ladder. Not once, but twice. I mean, I don't know what this camera is, but... Feeling the need to practice some more, I went to the Coliseum to grind some of the cups. If I beat it, it's just good experience. Don't give up! Don't give up. Wow. After beating Cloudy with a chance of Sora, I had to fight Hercules and Wow was that easy. Got him. One boring gummy mission later and I made it to Hollow Bastion. Smash that wall and smash that like button and smash that bell. No, not that bell. Beast, what are you doing? Do I have to like make a callback joke to like the first video here? Future, future me. Do a callback. I was going to say something about the beginning of Hollow Bastion, but this part after the first Riku fight would overshadow it anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that glitch? What the... <laughs> What's this about Riku? It's like some of the pixels of his face and like his outline. I don't know what, what even this is. What if I continue the cutscene? Oh, I... Oh. <laughs> I just caught one of like his transformation frames. Well. <laughs> After helping Sora return his library books on locksmithing, I was able to open the locked door and move on. Is what I would have said if I didn't forget to grab the Dumbo summon back at Monstro. It'll make sense later, don't worry. I got Dumbo, stocked up on Ethers, and went back to Hollow Bastion. The trick is really simple as you summon Dumbo, fly here, and unsummon Dumbo. As you unsummon Dumbo, Sora gains a little bit of height, which is enough for him to grab the ledge, allowing you to skip directly to the Maleficent fight. No! 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 Look, Maleficent, but then you do this. Aha, Maleficent, I got your rock down. Advanced strats. No, now you know the meaning of fear. Whoa! Spin! Do you get it now? I guess if I play defensive like that, that should be fine. Nope, because I keep forgetting I can't turn the camera when I'm locked on, so I couldn't fly out of there. There you go, Tinkerbell. Let's get me some passive healing. 
Uh, I don't like this. Uh, but I should have it. She saved me, Tinkerbell, right now. I was dreading the second Riku fight, but then I remembered that I'm playing a beginner, so I decided to just brute force my way through it. Can you beat Kingdom Hearts 1 while, while being a heartless the entire time? No. I'll take care of you. I ended up back in Traverse Town, grabbed Mushu, beat up an old lady in order to get out of Merlin's place. Really? Oh, there we go. Yes. Grabbed the gummy piece for Hollow Bastion and failed to trigger the cutscene glitch. Oh. As Sora forgot to return one of his books on ducks, we had to return to Hollow Bastion. That's nuts! While we were there, the keyhole got sealed, because why not? I was about to head towards Ansem at the end of the world when the silly gophers gaslit Sora into going back to Olympus to challenge Sephiroth. You can all probably guess how that went. I went into the Hades Cup instead, but Goofy decided to upstage me. Why? What the dog doing? What? Well, Goofy's on the tail? Look! He died on the tail? <laughs> I lost to Hades three times, but beat him eventually. I guess he felt the cold. I almost messed up because I used the wrong item. Rock Titan was next, but that fight was as trivial as having a pebble in your shoe. The last gummy mission was actually difficult due to my limited controls. Don't. Don't. Oh, I'm so close. However, it only took 9 minutes before I made it to the end of the world. From here, all we need... Wait, what is that sound? No! 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 Oh no! No! Flashbacks to the first video. Good news is that the routing is that I don't have to go to Atlantica, so no awful swimming controls. I regret saying no awful swimming controls. Uh oh, like this. <laughs> and I can oh, I can go down. It's finally time for Ansem and his 17 different forms, which I all beat on the first attempt. I realize now that I probably should have done the challenge on Standard or Proud instead. But wait, as you can see, the video isn't over yet. I wanted to push myself and see how many of the post-game bosses I could beat. Kurt Ziza, Ziza? Kurt Zigzag wasn't too big of a deal, but took a while to beat. Unknown was basically impossible because of my limited movement. Look at that damage. <laughs> I'm not strong enough for this fight, like, at all. If he spams those orbs, I'm just I'm I'm screwed. Okay, I have to run away immediately. Wait, he did a different no? He knew about my plan? He knew about my plan? What? The same applied for Phantom, as min-maxing the spells was really difficult and I was too slow in the long run. Bye bye, Peter Pan! 
Ice Titan was beatable, but it was a very, very boring fight. If you don't believe me, watch this. Let's go, I did it. Yes! Yes! And of course we have to end it with a Sephiroth rematch where... Okay, fine. I got my butt handed to me several times. Are the failed fights even possible, you may ask? With enough time, yes. But did I bother to do it? No. Putting the challenging battles aside, it is possible to beat Kingdom Hearts 1 with a DJ Hero controller. I will definitely be trying this again with Kingdom Hearts 2. But until then, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.